Hello everyone and welcome to the 2016 Northwood Volleyball season. We're here to preview the campaign. I'm Travis McCurdy, joined by new head coach Dave Shoemaker and coach. You've been here since the spring season. Talk about where you feel like you guys stand right now. Well, I think we're really excited about the upcoming season. Um, we're a really young squad, um, but that's got its pluses too. Uh, lots of excitement, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of nerves coming into the preseason. Um, but we do have a really solid small but solid core of, of returners who I think are going to help kind of settle our freshmen and help them acclimate to what it's like to be a collegiate volleyball player. Yeah, it's an interesting mix because you either bring back a few core group of players that have a lot of experience mm -hmm. or and everyone else essentially has no experience. So you have a it's an interesting mix. Yeah, and that 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 really um, that means we're going to need some really hungry incoming players along with the returners who don't have that experience. Um, we, we run a very competitive style of practice where um, everybody gets opportunities to prove themselves. So it should be a really neat opportunity to watch and see which one of those players comes up and rises to the top. Let's talk about some of those players coming back. You've got some really good experience up front. Allison Getty on the outside, mm -hmm. Colleen Mayer, Cindy Groylick. These are players that really did a nice job last year, and they're, they're going to be expected to do big things this year as well. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, really rely on our, our returners that, that with, with the experience they bring back. Um, I think really we're going to expect them to help the, the incoming players know what it's like to play in the GLIAC and know what it takes to compete in the GLIAC. Um, and because, because our strength, you know, two of those three were middle hitters, um, we're going to have to be really good at ball control to be able to get those athletes involved. Um, that's going to be really important for us. Looking at one of the – I just did the interview about football. People ask about the quarterback. You talk about volleyball. Mm -hmm. People are going to ask about the setting position. It's going to have a different look this year. I mean, you talk about some of the players you think. Haley Jones is back, but Haley what Jones. else do you – what uh, what are the players you expect to compete at that position? Well, we, we recruited another uh, setter to come in and, and, and compete, um, and that's Lexi Kiefer. Um, she's from Flushing, so she, she's kind of known in the area. Um, she actually um, is a transfer, but she has four years of eligibility, so that's going to be a good thing for her and for us. Um, yeah, Haley did a good job. I saw a few video uh, matches of her last year. She did a, she did a fine job. Um, she's one of those players that's really surprising because she just comes off really happy-go-lucky. She comes off really sweet temperament, but she's a competitor. And so it's going to be a real challenge for Lexi to come in and compete. Um, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll put them on opposite sides of the net, give them a lot of six-on-six -six opportunities. Um, and, and we'll see. Kareem rises to the top, as we say. It certainly does. In the past, have you run a one- or two-setter offense? Have you thought about that coming into the season? I am generally biased towards the 5-1. I tell all our players that. Um, although my commitment is to, to utilize the players that we have and to maximize what we can get as a team with those players. So um, I, I probably run a 6-2 once every seven to eight years in my coaching career. Um, and then um, I, I really think that the setting position is about connecting with your middles and connecting with your hitters. And so um, it just makes it a lot easier for your, for your hitters when you have a 5-1 system. So uh, again, I'm biased towards that, but uh, if we happen to have a situation where we have two really competitive right sides uh, and and it would be better for us to do that, then that's what we'll do. But um, as of now, I'm assuming a 5-1 unless they change my mind. Taking a look at some of the other positions you got coming back here, or like some of the other positions coming ahead for this season. Back row, again, going to have some new faces, but yep. I think you're excited about some of your possibilities you have coming in. Yeah, we, we um, one of the biggest concerns I had coming in was we graduated all of our back row players. Um, and so uh, we've brought in... Um, three really solid defensive specialists, libero types. And, um, you know, Lauren Westlake is probably the least experienced of them all. She comes in from Olivet High School and played for the Raptors Club there. And she's kind of a – she's going to have to gain some experience, I think, before she steps on the court. Um, but we're excited about her potential. Um, but we have two really competitive players in Haley Hartwick and Summer Vandenberg. And um, from opposite sides of the state, Haley's from, from – 
um, this area and um, Summers from Grand Rapids and both of them have really good high level uh, libero experience and they both bring a lot to the table and it's going to be really fun to see how they compete. Coming up to the season, obviously this is going to be your first year in the GLIAC, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that you have to learn as a head coach as well. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. Um, you know, I don't assume that videotape um, shows everything I need to see. Um, so it's going to be really exciting because, uh, I, you know, from my perspective, GLIAC is one of the top two or three conferences for volleyball in Division Two in the country, and that's one of the appeal you know, the appeals for me to come here was to, to step up a level of competition from where I was at and to, um, to ch challenge myself to grow as a coach. And I, I, think, I'm, I, I think I know what to expect overall. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit faster than how I played, a little bit hitting from a little bit higher level than, than the conference that I was coming from. But I think fundamentally volleyball is volleyball. So um, to win, you still have to pass and serve and set and hit. And um, I know that sounds cliche, but it... it it is going to be a fun, fun challenge. Now that you've had a little bit of time with everybody through practices and some camps and whatever, what kind of team should Northwood fans expect to see on the court this year? I think we want to be a team that uh, defends ferociously and counterattacks uh, really aggressively. Um, and that demands really good ball control. Um, and it's, there's kind of a trend right now in volleyball to set everything high and outside. And um, that's generally because ball control is so hard. So, you know, as strong as our middles are who are returning and incoming, um, we want to be able to utilize those guys as much as possible. So if we can get good ball control in transition, then we're going to try to take advantage of our strength in the middle and really try to kind of cram it down some people's throats if we can. Well, Coach, coming up, Labor Day weekend is your first start. I believe you start on September 2nd as your first match. Should be a lot of fun. Thank Coach Shoemaker. Thanks for joining us, and good luck this season. All right, thanks a lot. It's good to be